We're back at it again with another Fortnite Save the World video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Siege Breaker, and of course, I am going to be using the review format in which I talked about on my weapon review formats introduction video. So if you're interested on that format, make sure that you guys check out the video in the description below. As always, a like on the video is always very much appreciated. With that said, let's get started. Let's talk about what the weapon specializes on. Now, the reason why I chose the Siege Breaker to review as my first Fortnite Save the World weapon review is because the Siege Breaker specializes on basically everything. It's a very good all-around assault rifle that any Fortnite Save the World player needs to get their hands on as soon as possible. Again, if you don't have a Siege Breaker, make sure that you get your hands on one as soon as possible from the collection book. Make sure that you put your Legendary Flux and of course your weapon designs I believe and recruit it out of the collection book because you're not going to regret it. And that's the thing, right? The Siege Breaker basically specializes on short range, medium range, long range, on top of all that you can get specific builds with the specific perks of the Siege Breaker to make the Siege Breaker a very good, reliable weapon. I've never met someone that plays Fortnite Save the World and have them say, well the Siege Breaker is a garbage weapon and I don't really want it. Just to make a point, the Siege Breaker is so good that a lot of YouTubers and Fortnite Save the World players out there have multiple Siege Breaker, each with a specific element to them, water, nature, and of course energy as well as fire, just because they want a good all-around weapon to have, okay? Now let's talk about how the weapon handles. So for the most part, the only thing that I don't like about the Siege Breaker is that sometimes at close range, the hip fire can be a little shitty and not really as accurate, specifically when you're getting swarmed by a lot of husk, right? But with that said, I do believe that the weapon is pretty pretty good at handling at any range at long ranges it's actually really really effective um, but not super super effective to the point where you don't need a sniper on top of all that at medium ranges is of course where the weapon excels the most and it handles very very well specifically when it comes down to movements and of course at short ranges even though it's not really super amazing specifically when you're getting sworn by husk the weapon handles very very good at uh, short ranges. Uh, when it comes down to range effectiveness, uh, the weapon's just really good at any range, like I said. And of course, now I want to talk about, uh, you know, a part of the video that's more mostly just personal opinion, because of course, I don't want to be stating facts out here. Let's talk about recommended perks for the Siege Breaker. Now, one of the things that I've noticed about the Siege Breaker is that it has 30 bullets in the magazine and the fire rate is actually pretty, pretty good. It fires very quickly. Now, one of the things that I've noticed on the higher levels of play, specifically Canny Valley, I, had, I haven't played in Twine Peaks, but I know in Twine Peaks there's a lot of enemies. Long story short, you're going to get sworn by a lot of husk, which is why I believe that having 30 bullets on the Siege Breaker is actually a drawback. It's not a bad thing, but you are missing out on some potential damage by not having of course an increased magazine size perk on the siege breaker so if you get your hands on a siege breaker make sure that you give the magazine size increase uh, perk to your siege breaker so that of course it can have more bullets in the magazine I believe I have an equalizer which is a purple uh, siege breaker with 45 bullets in the magazine and I believe my power level 82 siege breaker after I upgraded it today is like a what 45 bullets as well the point is having an increased magazine on the siege breaker definitely helps out. One of the things about the Siege Breaker being a good all-around weapon means that you can actually almost never go wrong with the perks. Now, another thing that I want to recommend is of course having an increased magazine size and then make sure that you have critical rating so that you get more critical hits more often and then of course you have some critical damage in the Siege Breaker as well. See, the thing about the Siege Breaker is that since it's a really good all-around weapon you can basically mess around with a lot of the perks. You can make a Siege Breaker that specializes on taking out Mist Monsters for example or of course you can make a Siege Breaker that just specializes on critical rating or again you can make a Siege Breaker like mine for example. So the last perk on my Siege Breaker is that when I get a headshot damage it causes an explosion based on the damage of the weapon. Long story short I decided to go with a damage build for this siege breaker because I want my weapon to be more consistent when it comes down to damage and let's face it right I don't really need the critical rating on my siege breaker because I'm not going to be using it to take out the big threats like for example a husky husk or a smasher or a blaster and all that stuff right I'm going to be using the siege breaker most likely on husk that are like pretty weak that I can just break down Anyways, ladies and gents, now we move on forward to the opinions on the Siege Breaker. 
Honestly, I really like the Siege Breaker and I want to have multiple Siege Breakers. I believe I already have three of them, one of them being epic, another one being legendary. In my opinion, a Siege Breaker that has causes affliction damage for six seconds as the last perk, that, that would be like super amazing, but of course I don't have one right now at the moment. Another last perk for the Siege Breaker that would be good is causes, uh, I mean, it snares targets, it snares and slows targets, that's actually a really good uh, perk as well. Last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at the last section of the weapon review format, which I forgot to mention on the introduction video, but I'm going to be rating Fortnite Save the World weapons on a 1 to 5 star scale, and the Siege Breaker is going to be a 5 out of 5 star weapon. Simply a must have. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Fortnite Save the World weapon reviews. Peace.